and also I'm using a small shovel it's not very big I wouldn't recommend using a full size shovel this is like some type of floral shovel so it works good but with this one you want to give the gold time to rest out so you're just going to be scissoring it on there gently How do you like that for a test? To run straight black sand in one of these. I mean. Wow. Good for you. Floating. Nice. Nice. I had my hand in there, so it's floating on me. Yeah. Alright. So there's the end result. There's some really, 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 really tiny, 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 tiny stuff in here. I don't know how well you can see it. This camera does not like to focus very well. But, I mean, there's gold all through this. There's also some other gunk in there. But, that, that was a really good test. I mean, to run straight black sand through that, I mean, predominantly. I mean, that wasn't even a quarter of a bucket of all last year's concentrates that I collected. And it was pretty
Yeah. I dreamt of this day. Yeah. And then uh, you've seen Jeff and Dan. Yep. They're here. Yep, they're here. I saw here. them. They walked up here. Yep, from Ohio. Yeah. And here comes Mojo. <laughs> Sniffing out the gold. Where's the gold? <laughs> Ron and we might we might find a place. Really good. Keep yeah. up on y'all. On video. That's good. <laughs> Finding anything yet? Yeah, I found a couple little pieces. There's old Dano. Peace. Jesse. Luke Duke. Luke Duke. Patrick and of course nice, Patrick. Pack new. I think you got one of these yet, do you? No. How about that? See that? See what happens? Flash in your pan. Awesome. Heck yeah. Thank you. No problem, man. <laughs> so I don't think we've got you one yet. No. We have the older brand. Those are the newer. So. Yeah. Look at him go. <laughs> Yeehaw! I love that color. What's up guys, Tim Fisher with Eastern Outdoor Expeditioning. Yep, we're gonna see if we can find some pay dirt today. Uh, we uh, been chasing a vein, looks like there's a little bit of gold in it. Uh, and we're gonna hit the gullies, we've had a few rains in the past week. So uh, let's see what we can find today. Let's get on it. Guys, check, hey guys, check this out man. That is one pretty tool right there. From Green Mountain Gold. Uh, I mean, it is, it's a really cool tool, man. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it looks like a work of art, man, with all the uh, the way the lex sand is and you see through it's clear. Let me check it out. And this stuff yeah, that we're running too is like clay. Um, a little harder to run and it was, you know, we'll see what we got in here. You know, your concentrates, the things that you don't need go out the top. There you go. All right. Let's see if we can get it where you can see it any better. Let's see here. There's several pieces of gold in there. There's some up there. There's several pieces there. Pretty cool trick. Anyway, that is the machine right there, I tell you. Didn't take me long. I just ran, like I say, just a little bit through there. But as you can see, there was a lot of black sand in that in that uh, container. So uh, anyway, we're going to clean it up, and we'll do another quick shot, and we'll show you exactly what's in there total out. Okay, folks, there it is. There it is. There's a little bit of gold in there today. Not bad. Gold in the pan. Okay, folks, uh, there you go. Could we just kind of give you uh, just a quick overview of uh, the Green Mountain Gold Trap? It's really slick, man. See through. I mean... All right, so I got set up. Diverted some water over into this area, blocked that off, blocked this off, and I was able to set up off this rock. Now, this is an ideal setup. You'll see that nose is completely above water. And I've got some really good pressure going into the trap. And that's really what you want. These things like a lot of pressure. 
and look at the material inside the trap. There's some really, really fine stuff in there. There's one, one decent piece right here. But, I mean, there's, huh, there's minus 200 in here. Easy. Easy. Probably about 70 some odd pieces or more. But, well, greetings everybody. Uh, we're going to go to the Green Mountain Gold Trap. Well, now earlier we we shot some video and Steve was explaining to you when we were running the three foot. Well, now we've got the 23 inch pastry finder, and I've just been digging over in a hole over in here and running into some pretty nice gold. Because we've got this whole point right here, and it's an inside bend. The stuff's dropping out off in this point. We've had a lot of luck over in here, going over at the uh, gravel bar, gravel bar. I've had a lot of luck over there. So now I've started digging up in here and we see quite a bit of gold on the skid plate. Right down in the uh, classification plate here. Quite a bit of gold actually. Got some good action going on inside of the trap. Fairly decent water pressure. I'd like to have a little more water pressure, but it is what it is right now. just like you did before and I dunk it down give the tubes a couple of rinses and what I didn't do before that I should have done is rinse out the inside simple as that I mean, now, now you don't have to lift it up out of the water. You can do a clean out, see what you got in your pan, and then go right back to work. You don't have to mess around with setting it back up, because every time you lift one out of the water, I mean, you get you get all that water pressure, rocks are blowing out of your wing dam, you gotta reset it up in the whole nine yards. Wow. I need to dig more there. So there you go folks, Green Mountain Gold Trap. Check out GreenMountainGoldTrap.com.
I have no idea how many pieces are in there, but <coughs> and collect some material down there and run it and see what happens. See the material inside the trap. It's walking backwards. It's nice to be able to see what's going on. But you see I got some pretty good sized rocks on the shovel. Works nice. prospectors. You got Hillbilly John running a three-foot riverbed hog right here. <laughs> there. And up here we got Prospector Jack and he's running a mini which I gave to them today as a gift. Thank you very much. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Much good. They do a lot of dredging out in New Hampshire, so, and I've been friends with Prospector Jack on YouTube for a long time now. And it's just what friends do. So I figured it'd be a good thing for them for when they want to go out <coughs> and test new locations before dropping the dredge in the water. Yeah, this would be ideal for testing. Yeah. Definitely ideal. Oh yeah, also, we got Adam over here. California Gold Rush. He's got his pay streak finder set up. He's digging in a sweet little hole, getting some good gold here. So, gonna keep on going and see what we can get. Catch you later. So I got about 40 pieces, one fairly decent size, plus 30, maybe a 20 mesh. And if we could just get it to focus. There's three pieces of gold in here. There's one small one right there and two nice chunky ones up here. Don't know if you can see them or not, but just to show you the confidence I have in my gold trap. We'll just put them right in there. I see one of them right there. All right. I gotta save this guy. Alright, so I've got probably about close to a half of a five gallon bucket of material that I got from rinsing off rocks. There's a lot of flat stuff in here, so I'll probably get caught up on the skidway a little bit. Losing daylight, temperatures drop just like yesterday. So
That's the gold for the day. Not too bad. Minimal work. About 55 pieces. Another good size piece, nice and chunky. Not as big as the one yesterday, not as chunky. But that one right there, pretty beauty. <laughs> really tough digging. So then I went to test panning here and there, and I ended up with 84 colors. properly and I don't know how many pieces I'd say 50 or more easily Just